Alright, what's up guys, Podcast Fall Films, and I'm back with another narrated Wi-Fi battle. And this Wi-Fi battle is like, number 40-something, I don't know. But this is a battle against A. Reyes4869, he's from GameFAQs, I wanted to test one of my teams, so yeah, it worked out actually pretty well. Yeah, actually, it worked really well. Okay, so, he leads with, um, a Bronzong, and I lead with my, uh, Envy Palm. Yeah, MP Palm. I really should have sped this up like 200 speed because, like, narrating this takes a really long time. So I fake out because, yeah. And this MP Palm is, like, different because you'll see in later, but, or you'll see later in this battle. I U turn out because I know he's gonna stealth pack, so I wanna hit him hard. So I go out to Strawberry, and, uh, Strawberry gets to intimidate, and this Strawberry, this Arcanine, is really, really good. It's modest and, uh, choice specs. So, yeah. He goes out to Ben, and I fire blast, and I'm like, Boom! Specs, Fire Blast, plus stab, plus Modest Nature, it's gonna do a lot. So look how much damage it does. And he resisted one-fourth. But, it turns out it was a crit, so I was like, oh my god. I was like, w w once that happens, like, oh my god. So I Fire Blast, because I know it's gonna KO, seeing that how much that crit did. And yes, it does KO. Luckily, my Fire Blast doesn't miss this, pretty much this whole battle. So that was great. <laughs> So he goes out to Samantha, his Salamance, and um, he gets to Intimidate, and right here I'm predicting he's a DD ment, so I go out to my Swampert, and uh, he's actually not, he Dragon Pulses me. It turns out he was Spexed. I find, out, I find that out in the next turn. So he Dragon Pulses me, it does a lot of damage. I wanted to come in on the Dragon Dance, take whatever, like the Outrage or Dragon Claw and Ice Beam, but that didn't work out my way. So, um... I go to my Mighty Fork, my Jelly Gross, he Dragon Pulses, and this is the part where I find out he's Specs because it does about 130 damage, yeah. So I set up my Agility, knowing that he'll switch out because he's Specs. So I set up my Agility, and uh, yeah, he goes out to his Zong, and this Bronze Zong is freaking bulky, it's really defensive. I T-Punch, Life Orb T-Punch, I know it's not stabbed, but like still. Adamant, Metagross, T-Punch, yeah, Life Orb, that's gonna do a lot. And it turns out, I love the Earthquake, sweet. So I T-Punch this Bronzong once again, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna KO now, but it turns out, what the F, I probably got like minimum damage or something. Seriously, Bronzong's broken. Um, he EQs, no target, so I go to my Geico because he needs car insurance, so I'm gonna like, Grass Knot him, because he has like 1 HP left. I get hurt by my Life Orb, <coughs> and the Stealth Rocks. Yeah. So he goes out to his Absol. I don't want to take the Sucker Punch or anything. So I'm going to switch out to my Swamper. So I probably set up some Stealth Rocks or something. Turns out he Night Slashes, protecting my switch. That wasn't cool. So yeah, he gets a crit. Didn't think that mattered. He probably would have KO'd me anyways because it's stabbed. So now I go out to my Alzaru. Gonna fake him out. And yes, I fake him out. <coughs> and... I see his HP going down, like I probably got a crit, but turns out I didn't, which is sweet. So he sucker punches me, and watch, I T-Wave. Yes, T-Waving, Ambipom, win. Seriously. And plus it's the lead, so like some people, like when I fake out, they're probably predicting a fake out, go out to like Gengar or something, but I'll T-Wave them, which is epic. So yeah. And yes, he gets a sucker punch off on me, because I was going to try to U-turn, um, thinking he would uh, sword stance. <coughs> And right here, this is the best part. Since I got my T Wave off, I got sort of my Raymond. He tries to sucker punch me, but I confuse Ray him, which is amazing. So, yes, confuse Ray hacks. It's time for confuse Ray hacks and pair hacks. So, first, he gets confused, hurts himself, which is great. Yeah, it, actually, that, that was really great. I T Wave predicting a switch, but he didn't switch. I actually predicted a switch to Ments. But he didn't go, so I confused right again, and he snapped out of confusion, but he gets the pair of hacks, which is awesome. Good job, Raymond. So right here, I confused right again. I pretty much needed this confused right hacks, or I probably wouldn't have won the battle. So, Absol gets hurt by confusion once again. That's like plus two confusion hacks in this battle. <coughs> now he goes out to Misery. Um, this is Miss Magius. He tries to set up a sub, thinking I'm stupid, and I'll probably, like, confuse her at T-Wave, but no, I have Fire Punch. He probably didn't think I had Fire Punch, but yeah, I run Fire Punch. Yeah, so I Fire Punch his Misery, and, uh, yeah, it actually breaks down the sub, and now, I think it's, like, the sixth turn, so I get, like, my slow start, I don't have slow start anymore. So he T-Bolts, and check how much damage this does. Raymond's just a great wall. I mean, if he was 
pretty like special defensive. I don't know, but he's he's like mixed, I guess. It's like Fire Punch, and Fire Punch does a lot of damage and actually KOs. So I'm like, wow, Raymond, you're really strong when you don't have slow start. So now he goes out to Samantha his Specsman, so I'm like, oh my god, a Draco Meteor is coming. Don't know if I can live it or not because I'm only at 370 HP. And yes, oh my god, he Draco Meteors. And I see my HP going down, 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 down. And I'm like, oh god, I'm panicking. And I actually live with 46 HP, which is awesome. So I get my T-Wave off, and right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a Confuse Ray off and try to get some hacks on him. <coughs> Cause, yeah, I don't want, yeah, I wanna get him confused before I die. So, I Confuse right him, which is great. And, um, even if he didn't get this Confusion hacks, I could've gone to Geico, Hidden Power Ice, or something. Wouldn't really ma wouldn't really have mattered. Yeah, so I return and look how much damage return does on the Salamence. Goes down, 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 down. And it almost KOs, which is awesome. But he gets the fourth confusion hacks in this battle. But it turns out he doesn't die. He loses with, like one HP, which is weird. But I fire punch for the KO. Predicting yeah, nothing. Just fire punch because he was low in health. Yeah, so his last poke, I was really, 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 really scared of. It was a Metagross. So, like, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, probably Bandit or something. But once I saw that, like, I kind of outsped it. And it's really bulky. Look, I Fire Punch. Didn't even do half. Probably because the Intimidate, but still. So now, this is a game-changing moment in this battle. Because his Agilagross, um, does a really, really dumb move, and... I don't, I don't even think Metagross should have this move unless they're banded or something. He hammer arms me. I mean, maybe if he had, like, if he hadn't have hammer armed me, like, maybe Meteor Mash or something and KO'd me, he might have actually beat me. Which is really, really weird. So now I go to Strawberry, and Intimidate doesn't get him because he has clear body. <laughs> I got hurt by Stealth Rocks. And this is the part. If I couldn't outspeed him, I would have lost, but I Fire Blast, it hits. I outspeed him because he got that lowered speed from that hammer arm, and that was game changing. So, good game. Hey, Reyes. Plus four numbers on the end. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Laters.